the use case for today is you have a order form in a sense there will be some order there will be some quantities or products will be there right and you have a uh, this order from customized for that uh, product it, again this is fully customizable so you can have as many as details related to your use case uh, but for now we just have your name how many uh, what would you like to product like, what would you like to buy or or order right if it is an internal you can use this form internally to also through the departments right um and then you you just have a product list here right and then how many quantities you want to order and all necessary details here as soon as the form gets submitted it will be going to that board order board where there will be data will be recited data will be recited here in the order board right and then you also have another board where you have all the product listing and their stocks and the quantity right so let's submit this form and let's see how we can do inventory management effectively so i'm just writing Team, and I want to buy a product D. Also, mention how many quantities, right? And then all necessary details. If you want to make these mandatory, then definitely you can make it mandatory also, so that without submitting that data, uh, you won't be able to submit the form. So, for now, I'm just including these many details. So as soon as I submit my form, you know, as I mentioned before, the data will appear here in order form. You can also give different name to uh, this board. So as you can see, this is my order, Shweta product D, and you have four, I, have, I want four, four of the quantity. And then yeah, here are the details. So, and my another board, so now what is happening here, you just got the board, you, you just got your data, right? And now in my another board, there is all inventory mentioned here. So now imagine you have order which is submitted and now you want to decide, you want to know that what is the current stock and of this product because without knowing the current stock, you don't know if you can approve this order or not, right? It's very important to know the stock, if, if we have enough stock or what is the stock. So then in order to make that effective so that you, you don't have to go from one board to another board or you know ask the inventory department, hey, what is the stock level? We don't want that unnecessary communication. We want everything to be automatic. So that's the pain point. That's the today's use case. As soon as order is come, you should be able to see what is the current stock right here. So as you can see, all my products, these are my previous orders and you can see there is some connection here. And we can also see the current stock. So we are going to use uh, the connecting column for this use case. So as you have seen, we have already used, we have this connecting column. And by now you already know, what do I mean by connecting column? This board is connected to my inventory board, okay, inventory management. So that is initial setup. You have to connect these boards. And in my previous session, many times I have taken this uh, connection board column. So you connect, you add a board, you add a column and then you add a board and then you select it. That's how you add it. Okay, so that setup I have already done. Okay, so what happens here is as soon as your product is mentioned here, right, you have the ability to connect it to the another board and that happens automatically. Let me just refresh this.
think there is a glitch here. Let me just fix that. me submit another request again. Selecting a product and submitting the request. So as you can see, as soon as I submitted the product, you see product B I've chosen and automatically you could see there is a connection between these. The, this is a connection column and it has already connected and you can see that I have already current stock here. So, and this all happens automatically and I will explain you how we have done that. But as soon as you are, as long as your product is listed here, you're using the same product here and it's the same product list here. So important step is you have all the product list which is mentioned in the inventory management board. And this is how you will you would actually do it, right? In inventory management, any if whether it is monday.com or any any tool, you you have all your inventory uh, managed inventory mentioned here, all the stocks are mentioned here, and then that's what we have used. And then when we on order form also, you have one field where you where you have all the product listed here. So initial setup is same. You just have to, we have just used the monday.com connected column wisely so that your inventory management will become very smooth. So as you are, you are seeing here, I have a product B here and I ordered 10 and automatically I know that there is 50 in place. Now how this is calculated here. So what we have done here, simply we have used the connection column and we have used the mirror column very wisely. So as you can see, this is the connection column and on inventory board also, this my column is connected here and we have the stock quantity and the quality quantity ordered here. So what happens here actually, whenever that connection is established, right, automatically this quantity ordered is mirrored. So first step is, automatically whenever you order anything automatically this connection is established because we have used the match automation you have seen this automation and we have used this match automation when an item is connected created we, we are just matching the product name this is my product name right and on my inventory management my item name is my product name right so we are so this is the automatic step and for that we have used the automation. So this automation is for automatically populating what product. So these products and this will be always match. So you're seeing here, you see the glitch over here. I submitted this, but there was some glitch. So this was not successful. So the key over here is as soon as you submit something, this should be automatic. So of course you can go and also connect it. Let's say there is a glitch or something, you can always connect it also, but we wanted to use that automatic process. So I added that automation and that is how it is populating here, right? Even for, for these, all, all of these were automatic, right? So this is the first step. Once this is the key actually, so once this is established, then everything is just, we have just used the back and forth mirror column and we have calculated these uh order like what is the order number of level because let's say that now my product d product b is here right and now i'm again and i have i have order 10 right and in on inventory management i have initial quantity opening stock as 60. so now you can see on this board you will understand it better so my initial stock is 60 okay now shweta s submitted one request for this product b right and she ordered for 
So now quality quantity ordered also mirror here from my form board. So you see this is the order form and this is the quantity ordered which I selected, which I submitted 10. So that also came here. And then I use this formula column stock quantity because ultimately now what is my stock quantity? Ultimately my opening balance, opening stock minus my uh, quality or quantity order. And this is my stock quantity. And then what I did is because we have already a connection, right? So I just mirrored this stock quantity onto order forms. So this is my current stock. So, so we have used the mirror column to, it's a two way connection column, right? And we are mirroring, first of all, we mirrored this quality or quantity order because I need this 10 to be, get, to be subtracted from my initial opening stock, right? So I, I mirrored this one and then I calculated by my formula and I mirrored back my current stock onto this order form. Now why I, so you will wonder that, okay, why did I do this current stock on order form? So that's the whole purpose of this, right? Because let's say the order is received and you want to decide as a manager that can you approve this order? So definitely you need to know if there is a sufficient stock. So there are 10 quantities and these are just a smaller numbers I have taken. But imagine about the bigger numbers, right? Large quantity. So then, and as soon as, so this is the live update I'm getting. So now I know that, okay, this is 50. So definitely I can, but I can approve this order. So then on this board itself, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to ask anybody. By just looking at this, I can just say approved or delivered, right? I can start working on my order, right? And then I can, when I'm done, I can just say deliver, right? So, so now let's say again, now you'll say, I wanted to also show you what happens if the another product B order is placed. So let's say, let's see that just to, just for the demo, I'm just going to submit again, product, product B again. And this time I'm going to order, right? So now I wanted to show you how it gets added, right? How we get the current exact live update of those stock. So now I'm submitting it. The important thing is to have that connection, which is very smooth. You see now by default, it is there. And now you see you have this, uh, but because of this connection, you got the current stock here, right? Earlier, earlier it was 50, now it's 47. So this number will always give you the current stock, okay? Because we have used the columns and we have used the logic and we have used the formula columns and things like that. Now, once I have this quality ordered, right? Quantity ordered, I am also, what I'm doing is, because I know there are three, and you, if you know, the unit price is always listed on the inventory management. We have that unit price also. So now I have mirrored this also as an extra. You don't have to, but I have just, for my simplicity, I've also mirrored the unit price of this particular product. So this is also come here. So now I know that this is my unit price. These are my quality quantity ordered. And this is my order value because I've used, again, a formula column. So, so one of the client, one of our client was using this on the, now you'll say we can use everything on the same board, right? In the same board, we can have the product listed and we can have the form, but then it becomes so, uh, so complicated because you want these, you know, that Monday, Monday forms, like Monday boards, they always, the formula columns always works horizontally, right? So that is why we thought of separating this boards, right? But then because of the mirror column, it was possible to connect it and have these automatic population of the numbers. And that's why and minimal, minimizing our efforts. 